309 and 311, Blossom Pass Terrace, were the ones affected by the explosion. All our technical rescue teams are on scene, including our structural collapse and confined space rescue uh, groups. Uh, at 0719 AM, uh, we located and rescued one individual from a debris pile. At this time, we have just rescued a second individual who was trapped in the de debris pile, and uh, they are stable and being attended to. Uh, we have evacuated all the occupied homes in the affected area and completed multiple searches in all the areas. Family and friends looking for loved ones can meet at the construction trailer at 10th Line Road and Little Lake Lane, which is south of the incident area, near an OC transfer bus, or at the Minto office at Sweet Valley and 10th Line Roads. Thank you to all of our partners who have worked with us at this incident. As more info becomes available, it will be provided. Thank you. No questions. No questions at this time. I am Reed Purdy, uh, operations commander with the Ottawa Paramedic Service, uh, confirming that at site we've uh, spoken to, assessed 11 patients, uh, two people uh, originally trapped from the original uh, blast site. Uh, both have been, ex been extricated in serious but stable condition. Uh, we've transported three other patients with minor injuries. Five have been assessed on site and released from site. So, 11 total. Reed, how do we spell your name? Uh, first name Reed, R E I D. Last name Purdy, P U R D Y. Good morning, everyone. My name is Amy Bond, and I work for the Ottawa Police Service. Um, we are, we are here on site working collaboratively with our partners, uh, Ottawa Fire and Ottawa Paramedics, to support the rescue efforts this morning. Uh, we do have invest investigators engaged early this morning as well in order to, to support and, and investigate collaboratively with the fire marshal's office. I'm uh, Catherine Kitts, city councillor for this area. Obviously, this is an incredibly distressing event for people in the East End. It was felt widely, um, and especially for those in, in close proximity to where the blast occurred. But our thoughts are with um, all the families that have been displaced and those who have been injured. I know that the, the families are in good hands. We have both uh, the Salvation Army and Red Cross coming in to assist, um, and uh, certainly reach out if uh, you need any other supports. Can I do the French right away or? Um, I'm, I'll, I'll be back in 15 and I don't mind doing it. I'm just gonna go debrief this and then I can come back and I can give what we did in French. I don't know if, if paramedics are okay. I can say what they did in French. If not, if they want someone else to come back and do it with me, then I'm more than happy to do that. Okay. okay? And no question at all, because we do have a lot of questions. Yeah, no, just not at this time. Not yeah, this time. Okay. yes. Can you just repeat the name of the terrace that we uh, are going to Oh, the, where the, where where the, the fours that yeah. took out the four homes, yeah. Sorry, Blossom Pass Terrace. Blossom yeah. Pass? P-A-S-S, -S, yeah. Okay, thanks.